Now, Mike, when you look back at the uh, situation with all those walks, seven for the Orioles in the early innings of the ball game, not being able to capitalize, was that the big key to this game for Toronto? Uh, absolutely. I mean, if you can get seven walks off a pitcher, you better be able to put some runs up on the board. But they hit into some tough luck and, uh, you know, a couple double plays early on that hurt them. Boy, if Adam Jones had uh, gotten that one by the, through the infield in the first inning, it might have been a completely different ball game. But, yeah, tough luck, unfortunately, uh, for the Orioles offense in this game. But the fact that they able to draw seven walks, I think, is important for such an aggressive team. But uh, trying to get that big hit to bust it open wasn't there for them tonight. You know, Mike, I thought that the ball club tonight, fundamentally, uh, I'm starting to worry about the base running. That cost them, too. Um, in situations where they had Toronto on the ropes late, we just didn't swing at good pitches. Uh, I mean, they look like they're in a little bit of a funk right now. What do you think? Yeah, I'll say they really need a clean game. Uh, defensively, on the bases, uh, at the plate, they need clean pitching as well. I mean, pretty good pitching performance. I think Ubaldo obviously would have liked to get a little bit deeper, but the base running's a major concern right now. Uh, Diazza getting thrown out with Chris Davis up, and then, of course, we've seen in this road trip a, a couple times being lined off bases and doubled up. So just being aware of the situations, uh, you have to turn around when you're on second base or even first base, see where the de defense is playing so you understand when the ball's hit you're not going to be taking steps off to avoid from being doubled up so that's cost them and of course the errors uh, starting to mount up here in the early part of the season you don't like to see that I think they really are looking forward to when J.J. Hardy can come back. Nothing against Cabrera. He's playing a great shortstop, but just the feeling of confidence, the stabilizing veteran influence that he has on the middle of the infield, I think makes everybody feel better. Uh, so they need to clean the defense up, the base running, and try to get those big hits as well. Now, Mike, earlier in this road trip, uh, you had Jonathan Scope go down, and he's actually in Sarasota trying to rehab uh, an injury. And uh, Jimmy Paredes has gotten into the lineup called up, and tonight he hits a two-run homer. What are you seeing from Jimmy Paredes? Boy, just what we've been seeing, a great bat. Uh, last year, he came up with some big hits for the Orioles. He had a great spring training, and I'll tell you what, it was unfortunately got hurt. But when he came back, he has been on fire. Here he gets a fastball away, and he shows the great plate coverage. And when he barrels it up, he has as good a power as anybody. I mean, going to deep left center right there on a fastball down and away, pretty impressive job by Paredes and and he's one of the most consistent bats in this Orioles lineup right now. So Paredes two run homer the only runs the Orioles were able to get tonight and Mike we thank you we'll talk to you tomorrow night.